In today's websites, banners are no longer just an extra ad along the top or bottom of a website. They actually help make up the fabric of the content of the website. In this particular case, banners can be used to point people to specific content within your site, to feature products, to promote individual sales, to give people more selection as far as quick access to information. On the home page of the site, this is where you'll see most of the banners. First we have the center banners. We have two kitty corner this way and this way. These two are the same size, these two are the same size. These four banners here will actually rotate if you have multiples in place. You can set the order, you can set start and stop dates so that banners are only shown on certain dates, perhaps coinciding with specials or with the launch of a new product. We have banners down each side of the site both the left side and the right side. Again, same settings are available. And finally, we have the banner at the bottom. I'm going to refresh and the banner at the bottom is gone. I just deleted it so that we can demonstrate how to put it up. So, now that you can see where the banners are, even if you didn't identify them as banners before, now let's go take a look at how we manage them. So we'll log into our dashboard here. We want to click on the Promotion tab banner management. So all of the current banners are already listed down the left side. But what we want to do is we want to add a new one. So let's start by adding a large banner to the home page. You select the type of banner you're adding. You go and choose it from the files and we're going to add the home one for knives and we upload it. Once it's uploaded, you'll notice the color here is different from the others, so very easy to find. Now we can manage it. So we'll click on the management link. We can name it if we want. This is only for our reference right here. We can set a start date. And I'm going to set a date that's before today because I just want it to run. But what's going to be more important to me is when I make it end and I want this particular notice to end on August 31st. So I put in the eight digit date 2011-08-31. Priority, I'm not too picky on how these are shown in the home page so I'll just leave it as it is. Link, I could put a link if I want but I make sure that I use a fully resolved link. In other words I want to use the HTTP colon slash slash www dot my store etc the link right to the page and if you want to know how to find that quickly all you have to do is go to a particular page where you want to be the target copy the URL come back and paste it in now I'm sending this link off to a knives page but you get the point so let's just take that out of there. Now, I do have to pick which zones I want it presented in. And I have zone 1, or home block 1, and home block 2. This is the big banner, so you'll remember that we had one in the top left and one in the bottom right. I want this one to appear top left. So I'm going to save the banner info, and it's done. And it now also tells me that it's running. It's updated the status over here. Let's go back to the website, refresh the home page, and take a look and voila there it is and if you give it a pause for a moment you'll see that it's now rotating with the other banner that was there nothing to do except for add the banner takes care of itself let's go add a side banner and the footer banner as well just for kicks so we're going to go back here and we're going to add a left right column banner I'm going to choose the file going to upload that one. So here we are, shake it up baby, cocktail and martini essentials. Now I'm going to do something a little bit strange with the date here. I'm just going to put in ones and twos. And why would I do that? 
basically I didn't want to think about the dates I put in I just want this thing running forever so by putting in eight ones and eight twos that is both before and after today I'll put in a link to the uh, martini and shaker set we looked at before I'm going to put this in the left column I want it in the right bottom you'll notice I have a right top and a right bottom the right top is where we have things like shipping information um, payments accepted those are the ones we kind of want to leave permanently stuck there so usually we won't put any day-to-day -day banners in the right top here is something else we didn't show you before is we have a target where we can either target the same browser window or the new browser window why would we pick a new browser window if our banner was for instance for a colleague's website we were promoting a site for somebody else and doing it from ours then we wouldn't want it to open up in the same browser window we'd want it to pop up a new one and that's why you'd pick that so we're gonna save that banner and let's go ahead while we're here and we're gonna also add the footer banner but I'm gonna show you what I'll do here is instead of picking a page footer I'm going to select the wrong banner and I'm gonna pick the footer and try to upload it tells me that the image I attempted to upload is the wrong width it was 540 pixel but the format requires no more than 266 so it tells me how much the image was I actually tried to upload but I'm supposed to be no more than 266 for this particular one that I chose so what it's doing is even if I've picked the right one if my banner size is incorrect it's going to caution me so that I don't accidentally put up an image that's going to get squished or or contorted so let's go put up the real footer banner here upload the banner and we'll configure that one as well and I'm going to use that same quick trick and save the banner let's go back to the home page and we're going to do a refresh and look at this our shake it up baby banner just showed up on the left side now you notice this one is taller than the other ones the nice thing with the side banners is your height can be variable the width is 180 pixels but the height can be anything that you like so that one is there our home page banner is here the perfect cocktail banner is also now in the bottom of the page and we can click on those and go right to wherever we set the link to that is the fundamentals on managing the banners within your Japanese store.